dog litter because we know it is an issue, particularly in some of the paths that lead to Purton itself, the village. You wanted to buy some litter pickers, yes. and so probably looking good in front of their yeah, friends. Yeah, they're already making some litter If there's too much litter, like, it will like, harm the world. It's just scattered everywhere. People might think it's cool to drop litter on the floor. It affects the wildlife around us. Some animals, like, they sometimes eat the rubbish to, and they get sick from it. There's the farmers next door and they've got cows in their field and it affects them. If any cans get there and they're cut, you can then make a cow's intestines quite bad and also, if they have a plastic bag, they can potentially explode. It doesn't really look good. It doesn't give a good impression on our school. Everyone in the whole tutor wanted to like do something to help. I thought it was a, like a really good idea. It would like help us aim for the higher the higher eco awards. It's important because like we want to help people. You won't tackle the issue unless you get everybody involved. If we all do our little bit, it can change a lot. To plan it, we had help from our tutor, Mr. Duncan and he got us involved with, it, with our first little pick. Uh, Lucy, you're absolute legend. Have a sweet off me. <laughs> we go out litter picking to try to reduce the amount of litter on the field. It's quite shocking like, to see how much rubbish is actually in all those bags. Tutor groups now go out and pick up litter from the field and playgrounds. Yeah, there is a difference after somebody's been out on litter or water. Mm. It's not like it's happened and the school looks the same. Some people thought the litter picks were quite disgusting, but now most people, they just get on with it and it's like fun, you know, it's helping the school. <laughs> hey, yo, listen, it's going down just like this. Yeah, come on! <laughs> Some of us just kind of like latched onto it and then Jade came up with a name and uh, Is that the bin buddy? Yeah. yeah. yeah bin buddy. Is that where you give students a reward for picking up their litter? Yeah, are you gonna are you gonna do that start that again in September as well? Yeah. 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 We've um, done a little demonstration about how bin buddies work. Bin buddies! And you can take this to Mr. Duncan and he will give you a sweet. Cool. So pick yeah, it up. Cool. Pick it up. We've made like a presentation and we sent it to other tutors. This is Braden Forest School News. You can um, look it up on YouTube and hopefully people go onto it and learn more about what we're doing. This year we entered the competition to win some money for our school to help our campaign. And we want to litter because of this. Well, we've, got we've made a sculpture out of the litter that we found and we're trying to make it as big as we can so we can show all the students here what damage they're causing, like how much litter they are putting down on the field. It's like a model of rubbish shaped into a bin. It's a bin monster. They wanted to make a litter bin sculpture, but they were sticking plastic bottles together that they found out in the school ground. But they were having trouble because they didn't have anything to stick the bottles to. So instead I've made a cardboard frame and they're actually sticking the waste to the cardboard frame in order to mould it together. And that way we've got the shape already and it should work better as a model. By using the posters then it can like tell people to stop littering. And loads of people have done a couple of big posters. We've gone and put up in D2 and our food hall and then like they can look at it and take their time to read it. Now you've actually completed it. Tell me how it went. Um, I think it went okay in the end. Other than a few perhaps expected flaws, I think it went really, really well. And what has been nice is to see them finish their bin sculpture, put it all together and suddenly it's absolutely amazing. There's a lot more of the rubbish actually in the recycling bin, so 
I guess it did help a lot. There's a lot less litter. There, there is still, of course, litter because it's a public footpath, but it's just not as much, so it's not as bad as it was. If I could turn back the clock, I would try and get people from year 8, 9, 10, 11 from the very start to help back these year 7s. It's tying into all those other different areas of the school and the way you're developing which is fantastic because it means that litter is going to be an issue that's carried on well into the future and is going to be a part of what the school continues to do. I think it was a short success and like in the future maybe people will think again. I think that it was good that we decided it to help the animals around the school so I don't drop litter anymore. We can now send the cows out almost safe from knowledge there isn't such a difficulty out there. I do like the fact they're going to restart in September and go from the second week of term and hopefully follow through. Yeah. And they are going to be, I think, our litter ambassadors for next year. Fantastic. It's good to be involved in something like this. I am proud to be involved because it's helping the wildlife a lot. <laughs> <laughs>